in the previous uh, video tutorial where we put the floor in over here, I happen to notice that this particular floor is fine at 16 inches on center, but when I put it in, I mistakenly thought I was putting this floor in. And so I changed it to uh, 12 inches on center. So we'll go back to the section. And the reason I go to the section, as I've said many times before, is it's just easiest to pick the framing uh, system here. When you click, you can see the dash line, click on it. And I wanna change the properties of that to 16 inches. So let's see what happens when I do that. And we'll apply it. Yeah, now it's 16 inches on center. So that was pretty simple to do. I'm 16 inches on center now. Let's go back to the first floor structural. And the last floor framing system that I want to put in is right here. So we're going to go back to structure. I'm going to say beam system. We'll sketch it. And I'll draw my lines in here now. My system goes from here. I'm just clicking to the inside of the uh, rim joist. Now something that you wouldn't know as a student maybe yet is that there is a requirement that you frame the hearth for the fireplace a little bit differently. So my framing is going to come around here. I don't expect you to do that. You could just continue straight around. And I want to come all the way down to this beam because it's going to sit here. And then I want to come over to here. I don't know exactly where it is, but then I'm going to draw my next line. It's what I mean is I don't know exactly where the, well, no, I'm going to draw my framing from this side and go straight up. I, I can be really sloppy about that because I know I have to go back in and clean it up anyway. So I'll clean these two lines up. And let's look at this corner. That one looked good. I think these are fine. And I think that one's fine. And that one's good. But I think I was a little sloppy over here. Or just non-committal at the point that I drew the lines in. So that looks good. Now here is where I want my spacing to be 12 inches instead of um, four, or 16 inches. Because the span from here to here is greater than a two by 12 at 16 inches can carry. So maybe even 12 inches is on center is not enough. But the purpose of this tutorial really is just to show that you can change the spacing of your uh, floor joists from different center to center numbers um, as required. And so I'm assuming that if I did my calculations, looked at my loads, and I, I would say that if I use two by 12s at 12 inches on center, that it would be satisfactory for deflection and load carrying. But that's, this is not a structure class. This is an architectural class relative to using Revit. So we'll just do that. And I'll say, okay, let's see if it all closes. It did. And there we go. And so there you can see again i have that same issue where they're kind of inside of each other and you can't put two objects inside of each other in real life that wouldn't happen ah but they're 12 inches on center right so at some places that's going to happen uh at 12 inches on center in other places it's not going to happen um so so we'll just leave it like that for now What's going on here is that I have different spacing. So in some places it's going to be clear of the opening, but in other places it's actually going to come on top of each other. So I should really go in and move each one of those over three quarters of an inch so that they don't sister inside of each other. But for purposes of this class, I think we're okay. Uh, we had a, a uh, advanced Revit class, maybe we would cover that kind of stuff a little bit closer. Uh, it's just for this class, 
I want you to know how to put in a structural system, but I really don't want you to go to the effort of cleaning it up to that extent. So that's okay. So anyway, there we go. We have our floors and it looks good to me. I got all my floor joists in there all the way around the house. So I'm really ready to move on to uh, another topic.